What's up, YouTube Skate Fam? Today, I'm gonna teach you how to frontside ollie over a hip. Let's get into it. Go! <laughs> thing we'll talk about is foot placement. For me, my foot placement is exactly my riding stance. I've got the foot on the tail and the, the rear foot on the tail and the front foot right over the back set of front bolts. That's how I approach the coping for a front side ollie over a hip. Next thing you want to do is find the right hip to learn on. This hip right here is perfect because you got coping on one side and then you have a rounded edge on the other side which makes it difficult uh, to hang up it's still possible but it makes it much more difficult to hang up so this is a great hip to learn it on if you are regular coming in at it front side another good type of hip is a uh, basically a 90 degree hip like you see here because whether you're regular or goofy you can use this hip it has coping but it's pretty mellow. The coping is big enough to give you the bonk and let you fly over it. And you can choose different angles as you approach the coping. So I'll talk about angles once we get into the trick a little bit more. But first, identify the right hip. So let me give you a few angles. This angle, when you see me come at it front side, you'll actually get to see the line that I take. And I actually almost, almost, it's as if I'm gonna fly out and land into a front side grind. But because of the momentum and the speed, I'm gonna actually fly over the coping into the transition that way. Let me show you a few. Okay, so as you just saw, as I approach the coping here, I'm almost like flying out into a grind, but again, the speed and momentum carries me over into the transition. What happens is if you can fly out, you can air ollie, um, you can frontside ollie over a small hip like this, or even the one that we're gonna move over to next. Um, it's basically a fly out, except you fly instead of landing on the deck, you're gonna land into transition again. Um, it could be a little wonky at first, you're gonna bonk, lift the front foot, the coping sends the back foot and the board up, you suck up your feet, and then you wanna level out your board into the angle so that you can land back into the transition. Let me show you a few more at different angles. I'll say one more thing about this hip. If you have the right angle and you're angling straight almost towards the coping, when you have a, a, a 90 degree hip like this, speed is your friend, okay? Um, you don't want to go too slow or then you could clip the back wheels and hang up. Speed is your friend as long as you're shooting almost straight like you just saw me do. Let the front hit, let the back hit really hard, suck up the legs, and then slowly angle in to land into the next transition. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. So for this one, I really want you to watch where I approach that coping and the angle that I take because it's not what you think where you would kind of go that way you're really going more that way. It's the gravity, the momentum, the speed. I'm not really turning very much in the air this way. It's very slight, if any at all. It almost feels like I'm flying out transition to transition. Take a look at it from this angle. Okay, so right here, you're really gonna get to see me hit coping and then fly in that way straight through over the deck. You're gonna see me lift, let it bonk, lift, let the back bonk suck up the legs, re-angle and enter back into the transition. Take a look. Okay, we're gonna give you more of a head-on view this time. So you actually see me coming around front side, bonking, 
lift, bonk the back, and level it out back into transition when you stick the landing. Very similar to a fly out, might seem a little sketchy. Uh, will make your adrenaline pump at first because you're landing in the transition, but it's not that different than a fly out. And if you know how to fly out and you know how to roll in, you're kind of combining two tricks transition to transition. Take a look at it from this angle. Okay, there's one last angle we're gonna take a look at it from, and that's head on. So you'll see me fly out, lift, absorb the bonk, then slowly land in back into the transition. Take a look at it from this angle. Okay, so we're increasing the size of the hip substantially. And this is not a 90 degree. Um, this is an obtuse hip, which means you're gonna have to take a different line similar to a flat wall, but not quite um, So on the other hip we were jumping in almost straight this one you're gonna see different as we approach It's gonna be more of an angle. You still want to let all four wheels hit the coping You're gonna come at more of an angle and it's gonna be a wider arc uh, Air over the ollie air over the hip. Let's take a look at it from this angle. So here we just have a different point of view so you can see the angle and how the wheels bump coping we level out and land back into the transition take a look okay so another quick angle this time you'll see the bonk and you'll actually be able to see the landing uh, back into the transition here. Take a look. Okay, this view, I'm actually airing on the other side of this gap here. Uh, but you'll actually get to see the frame come up over coping and back into transition. Take a look. Alright, YouTube's Cape fam. A few final thoughts as I uh, did the last few there is you want to stay in alignment with the board. So if the board turns and your body is going in a different direction, you're going to slam. So what you want to do is, if you turn the board in the air ever so slightly, stay shoulders with the board. Keep your shoulders in alignment with the board. That way, when you land, you are going to ride away straight. No different than a roll in, whether it's front side, back side, or acid drop. And no different than a fly out, whether it's straight out, uh, front side, or back side. Where that board is going, you want your shoulders and the momentum of your body to go as well. This is how we were able to do so many front side ollies over the hip today and actually not slam once, not even bail once. Landed everything simply because, went at it with courage, followed the instructions that I laid out here for you. It's a super fun trick. And while I'm at it, even though it's called an ollie, as you can see, when you use coping, you're not actually tapping the tail. You're just bonking up into the air, leveling out, leveling back to transition and sticking the landing. Remember, shoulders in alignment with the board and you'll land it every time. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Until next time, if you've got any trick tip request, let me know. If I don't know it, I'll try to learn it. We can learn it together. Thanks so much. Peace. Go!